iOS 14 has been jailbroken, so I have 20 jailbreak tweaks that currently support on iOS 14. Now uh, we're gonna move on to the first one. It is going to be the tweak called Little Eleven. It is basically allow you to get the iPhone 8 gesture on your older device. And you can see on my iPhone SE in my hand here. For example, I can go to the App Store and you're gonna see Home Bar where I can just swipe to go back to my home screen just like the iPhone 8. And one more thing, I can pull down my control center just like the iPhone 8 as well. And I can just um, go back to setting here or I can go to multitasking. With little eleven on iOS 14, some of the action um, don't work yet, but um, at least um, you can use this gesture on your older device. Next one, we have the tweak called Surfball, uh, where it is going to organize your settings. Now it is um, divided into different sections where you have tweaks, um, apps, system apps, and so on. And you're gonna find your tweaks on the top here. Now, if I scroll all the way down, you you don't see all of the tweaks, but um, it is it has been organized in one place uh, where you can find the tweaks section here. And if you go to apps, and these are the system app that are available here. The Virtual Home also support iOS 14 with Touch ID device, especially if you have the iPhone SE or the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, uh, where um, you can use your Touch ID. For example, I can just um, tap on my Touch ID to go back home. You can see single tap action where I can just simply tap on the Touch ID to go back home. And it also gives me a haptic feedback. Um, it is also vibrate when you hit on the button. Uh, for example, I can also change the action. So if I single tap, it is going to be um, to go to my home screen or I can change to reachability. Now when I hit on the Touch ID here, um, instead of going home, it um, gonna bring reachability as you can see. And you also have the ball tap action. You can customize and change as you wish. You may have already seen this tweak before. It is called Cast Tool, where it is going to give you an animation when you scroll across your system. For example, in my setting here, I can just scroll like that. Um, it is going to give you the color. Um, I have select the color here and there are many different um, animations you can select from settings. If you want to customize folder on your iOS 14, you should install Folded. Now when I go back to um, the folder here, you, you can see I have gradient color on my folder background. Now to change the color, you can just need to go back to settings and then you're gonna go to Folded where you have um, appearance, you can customize layout, appearance. Um, icon, title, and so on. Now I can go to a parent where I can select on gradient or I can select on only one color and it is very customizable for your folder. Now you may have already seen this since the beginning of my video where you don't see the label on the icon and I think it is very um, good to install the tweak because um, it is going to hide um, the label on your icon and give you a very clean look so you can install high label certain uh, which um, is going to support on iOS 14 too so don't worry about it now with iOS 14 that annoy me the most uh, whenever you add a widget on your home screen you're gonna see the label which means um, you're gonna see the name of um, the application itself on your widget and for me, I don't like this. So you can simply install um, high home screen widget label. And then after you have installed that Twix, it is going to completely remove the label from the widgets. And now you can see on my widget now, there is no label. Move on to Rofi. It is a tweak that basically allows you to launch the app much faster by simply slide like that. And you can select um, your favorite application to appear here and it is much faster it works very well on my iOS 14 I can just simply go to the App Store by click on that and I can spy one more time or if I standing on um, the application itself I can also um, slide as well uh, where I can jump into the other like for example I can go to mail and there are many applications that you can select so you can just simply go to Rofi and go to select application and then you can add your favorite applications so it is as simple as that move on to good Wi-Fi where it is going to improve your Wi-Fi strength 
So even though you stay far away from your router, it is going to be work very well. It gives you more strength to your phone so you can access to or connect to your Wi-Fi. Power cuff allows you to improve your battery life by simply, um, for example, when you enable low power mode and you can just set it to heavy, which means um, it is going to um, eliminate um, almost all the an animation or some of the action that gonna um, consume your battery and give you um, the best battery life. So for example, you can just simply enable low power mode right here and then go to this one and you can select on heavy but um, you need to keep in mind that when you select on heavy the performance will be slow so but um, it is a good way to improve your battery life now um, this is the action that I need the most where I can offload by 3D touch now um, for example I can hold on the app right here where I can um, offload directly from the 3D type menu. Now, installer also support on your iOS 14 and I have been testing it in a while and it does work very smoothly on my device and um, there is no issues at all. So you can try installer, so you can um, use it and um, instead of side here if you want, pull to respring, um, simply allow you to respring your device by uh, pulling down on your settings then your device will be respring straight away. Now you will notice on my battery here, it is going to give um, the percentage inside the battery icon on the top status bar. And you can also see the outline of um, the battery line. And when you charge it, um, it, it will change to green. Now move on to charge mode. So it is going to give you another style on charging. Now when I charge um, my device and when I lock my device here, and then when I... Um, go to my lock screen you're gonna see uh, we have the dot here which um, is going to represent um, the battery percentage on my device now with file icon dots um, you can place a file icon on your dot by simply hold on the icon like that and then drag and drop into your dot move on to the tweak for keyboard and when you click on the um, global icon um, you can only switch to like the first keyboard and the second keyboard now when I click on it, it just um, switch into two keyboard and actually I have three keyboard that I have just um, set before but um, this is the trick that going to give you only the first keyboard and the second keyboard. Now to switch to the other keyboard, you can simply hold on the earth icon here. Next up we have low battery banner which is um, going to give you the notification which means um, it is going to give you the banner whenever you hit the battery low so it is a good way to remind yourself another one we have um, circle settings um, it is going to give you the circle icon on the setting icon so you can see from the left side here all of the icons are in a circle and one last thing that I want to mention snowboard also working very well on iOS 14 and you can try it out yourself and install the theme that you like and this is the free theme that I am using right now. You can get from the link in my video description. And finally, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next one.